what what advice would you give a fresher yeah. to reach a point where you are right now? Well, there's different. And the, the beautiful thing about NDT is that there's different levels. You can you can study NDT and 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 work NDT as a technician and make good money in that. And uh, and in that case, you really need to understand the technique that you're using. You're not just following procedures. You know, if it's ultrasound or X-ray or eddy current, whatever it is, you gotta understand exactly what's happening inside this metal or part when you put ultrasound in it and what the signal is going to change. How is it going to change? And you gotta. The more you understand it, the better it is. But you can take that education and move it toward a bachelor's degree in engineering or even further i have a phd in material science it's not a phd in ndt because that doesn't exist but i have a phd in material science with expertise in ndt all of my research was in ndt so you can take it to different levels but whatever you do i think the world of ndt provides you a big uh, wide range of capabilities of science of knowledge that you can always until the day you retire learn something new every day okay uh, yeah, yeah. So that, that brings me to yeah. uh, a question from one of my students yes he he was asking me he's about he's 29 30 yes and um he has a bachelor's four years uh, in math okay but so his question was should i look for jobs which involve level one and two or should he look for jobs which um, as an NDE, NDE engineer and having having mm -hmm. NDE math uh, bachelors of math yeah. and getting classroom training for level one and level two he has a feel for both of them what it is to yes. work in the field and what it is to be an engineer so, but he's still tied up in that in that question so what would you suggest as I point? think he's capable of making an engineer if, if he wants to um, it's it's not you know it's what you want to do you make it it's not it's not a, you know that's not how i would ask the question you know if i if you want if i want to do something i just go and do it okay it's not like okay which which door is going to be open for me so i can walk through it it's which door do i want to open you go open it you know and i think my whole life experience has been like this. I don't expect any door to be open for me so that I can accidentally walk through it. You open that door and if it's locked, then you unlock it and you open it. Break it down, do something. If that's where you want to go, you go there. You just go. You just do it. Um, it makes sometimes things more difficult, but if you have to know what you want and then go do it. And I think he has the capability of becoming an NDT engineer but does he want to do it you know that's a good question yeah, yeah. is see, that what he see, wants I, I, I think um, the, the what most new people think about is in terms of money they use normally they ask me where is the money is it is there more money making being an indie uh, technician level one and two and three um, or is it more money going for a bachelor's degree or master's degree and uh, yeah. into a research position I've never thought about it like that because good people make good people make money. When I was going for my PhD, a lot of people said, you know, there's less fewer jobs on a PhD level, so it's going to be difficult for you to find a job because you narrow down your specialization yes. so much. Yeah. And my answer is that I'm not competing with everybody. If I'm if I'm going to try to be the best, you know, I'm competing with the top five percent. That's the attitude you gotta have. Is that if you want it, you have to go get it. It sounds arrogant, but it's not. You know, you gotta have that attitude. The money, you know, a, a plumber can make more money than a doctor. But if you want to be a doctor, you're gonna be a doctor. Um, or if you want to be a plumber, you're gonna be a plumber. And if you want it, then you can be a good plumber or a bad doctor, or you're gonna be a good doctor and a bad plumber. I mean. It's not, there is no secret uh, uh, formula about where the money is. I think good people, people, I mean, when I say good people, meaning people that work hard and prepare themselves and actually take it seriously, I think they, they, they can make good money. And in the NDT world, when you see 
at the conference and uh, PQNDT when they give us these, these statistics about what people make in the NDT world, the numbers are phenomenal. I can't believe them, but but that but they're true. You know, at level one, level two, making almost a hundred thousand uh, dollars. It's it's a it's a crazy number. It doesn't exist in any other industry. True. Um, but if I want to be a level one, then I can stop my education maybe at least ten years short of finishing a PhD. And I can make money for these 10 years until this other PhD guy is going to get, you know, get caught up and make more money at the end, but it's going to take them a lot of years to catch up. 10 years to grow too, yeah. Yeah. And so how, I don't know how to calculate that, but I wanted to be a PhD. I decided that I was going to be a PhD when I was 11 years old. It's just I had a difficult path. I didn't get to it right away. Wow. Yeah. I think it was, I was in sixth grade, 11 years old, and I decided I think I'm going to have to get my PhD.